Very careful. <laughs> okay, complexity fanatic though, folks. Let's get into it. The Counter Strike, fortunately, will do the talking for us. It is our second map of the day of the second series. And I I've got high expectations for the armored P250. I always do. They put it on poison. That's a confidence booster. Trying to get him off to a flying start because he did lose uh, 11 of 12 opening jewels on our first map. And there's Brolin taking the head off the in-game leader. The head of the snake is now there. And here they go, writhing, perhaps successfully, on bench. It's Brolin that gets caught. Yeah, he has the flash and he's in here towards window. His barrel might be spotted with the USP if he's not too careful. Oh my lord, three from CT. Poison's P250 could not be any better for a job like that. He is getting peppered away at, and he's already done his job. He doesn't need to do too much more now. JKS is the next task. Oh, double kill. Config. Oh, oh no. no. Oh no, God, JW can get them both. He's even got the kit. JKS stabilizes with a very important frag, and he's even poisoned to babysit. That could have gone so much worse. It's the two of them. They get the pistol across the line in the end. Both of those kills from JKS were hugely instrumental. Running down and taking so much space, he was basically lamb to the slaughter right there to buy space for complexity, get onto the site, and force Fnatic into some odd duels. Coming out of that flashbang, getting the opening kill onto Brolin, and that set Poison up to be able to peer towards CT spawn. That final one there, if JW takes down the likes of JKS, Poison would be isolated and have to play a completely different style of a round. But all in all, it will be the pistol round for complexity, the buy, or the force from Fnatic. He's on through. Crims. Stack nades yeah. actually work. Rare to see. Well, blames the two opening deaths in the first two rounds here. He's gone down on the pistol round and then followed in with those nades. And this is a great start from Fnatic. We saw Complexity struggle on their T-half of Inferno against the Force Buy in the second round. Lost that and then lost a slew of rounds. Can they convert 4v5? That's all then. Quite going to get what he needed there. So CT's chance is starting to dwindle, but that's oh. a great shot. Just denied the molly completely. And Incendiary at his toes, he's the hero AK as well. So a huge risk taken by Poison, but it does pretty much give them the round. As you can see, the remaining CTs are rather segregated. Just Crims with a scout on site A. Brolin in window, but close quarters with that CZ, and he's actually at it. just become another $600 for config. He takes him down with his Mag-10. Crims does reveal the scout on A. Hoping to maybe upgrade something. Yeah, he wants a P250 or a Deagle. Anything that he can find better than that P2K that he currently has in hand. Scout or a MAC-10, it's a, a bit of a conversation that you could have here. Now, the Scout is going to allow him to be a bit more versatile going into the next round. See if he can get a couple of tags and soften them up for the USPs, which will most likely be what Fnatic are rocking in round number three. Crossburner's coming on through. They could actually invest a little bit extra if they want to go for Deagles or, or P250, something of the sort. So Crim's holding on to that scout does make a lot of sense. Buying back in will be complexity now. And if Config continues even a little bit of his form from map number one, Fnatic will be in a lot of strife. They will need Crim's, as you were mentioning, to step up with that same level of play. Just the fact that we had so many insane rounds, the clutches, the multi-frags, Wow, they actually throw that window spawn smoke, or that window smoke straight from spawn. No ifs and or buts. It's very early, couldn't be earlier. and enables them to deny a lot of early info plays that could have been made. But obviously with these USPs, they have different intentions. Interesting to note here, I, I like this approach from Fnatic. Look how much residual cash they're working with going into round number four. They will have a full buy. And you here, if you listen to me casting whatsoever, how critical I can be of teams who go for that all-in force buy in round number two and then find themselves down to just peanuts, rifles, and maybe a flash. They're going to have all the goodies, but this round's not done just yet. They have triple nades. If these get used towards connector and complexity congregate over towards that side, they're going to be. Yeah, they're lucky. They've gotten away with this one. Flush up. He's going to get out of dodge. Doesn't actually want to try and contest. It feels like they're backing off completely. I wonder what Fnatic's plan is here. If they contain and try and do damage to the economy, make sure that Complexity have to rebuy a couple of guns, that's not a bad place to start. I'm not sure if Blame was spotted there. Does Golden know he's close? No is the answer to that question, and Blame does get overwhelmed. It's an AK for JW. He's going to try and retrieve that. Uh, excuse me, I've got a very important weapon. <laughs> wow, that long range Mac what? 10 works out wonderfully. <laughs> Two bullet little <laughs> bursts. <laughs> I mean, he, he'll take the AK. 100%. Scout and an AK preserved, and I'm not sure whether or not they're going to be allowed to hold on to it. I'm looking at Rush. Yeah, he's gone back and loop around, so he hasn't found anything. 
The rest cowering in the kitchen, cooking up trouble. 3 0, complexity. Victors of our first map. I've fallen behind in my water consumption, Alex. I was on. Uh, you were doing a bottle of map. It was a almost a bottle of map. It was, it was meant to be two bottles of series, so right now I'm a little bit behind. And uh, I'm sure I could definitely be hydrating. I'm just caffeinating. I think I operate very well under caffeine. A friend of mine. But we are ready for our fourth round. And a little late out of spawn from Flusher. He gets his buy in all the same. And looks like Complexity are going to be testing the waters at B here. Grim has kept the scout. So that's an interesting note. As Roland will be using that smoke drop towards underpass to peer for mid control. And he might even get the early call that there is no one home. And they can be ready for this B hit that is being blind on up. Smokes are ready. Rush has taken a chunk of damage. He's going to be entry fragging on that MAC-10, and away they go. Yeah, look how far ahead of the pack he was, though. Config needs something. Hunting, hunting, hunting. The spray's not there. His spray doesn't hit anything. It's JKS that gives them a way in. The smoke from Config, I do like that. And the flank from Bronnen, I may even like it more. Blame is prepared, though. And this could determine a lot here. Now the advantage remains. The JW is in the sight. Crims. Oh, wow. They checked everything. They refused to rush the plant. And we're seeing more and more of that. I think teams are starting to realize that there is no rush. You know, yeah. you have to make sure you vocalize when there is and when there isn't. Because those extra frags, those extra 15 seconds of clearing your corners. Look at that barrel. <laughs> look at that barrel. <laughs> Hello. Thank you. Goodbye. Now, that's something that, uh, look, I, I would put my hand up first and foremost. When I was a player, when I was an in-game leader, I would always go for the objective. Get that bomb yeah, the down. Bomb the plan is strong. The plan is strong. It's important on a, the A bomb site, for example, if you dump all your utility and you have nothing to work sure. with. But uh, on that B site. Oh, blame. I was about to say config. I just assumed someone <laughs> taking a fight like that would be config. This buy is actually better from Fnatic than their first gun round. True. So they left enough money, and JW with that saved AK has now been able to opt into an AWP. This is some mad stuff. Mad. Truly. And I actually... Is I, the fight you wanted? Yeah. Crimson Config. We're going to get it. JW was spotted out, and he's taken his head off cleanly. Go on, Config. Keep it going. He's definitely entered the flow state throughout this entire series. He's looking so good. I don't think we've seen the best of config yet. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Re. I just fully love the fact that Thorin took the time to write that article and that config took the time to read it properly. Yeah. And didn't just take it as, as a slight. Right. It'd Actually, be very easy to consider that flame and move on. Yeah. Very cool. And to see him given the opportunity in the juggernaut and to, to take it by the reins, to take it by the balls, he has really... Coming to his own in his cold jersey, and there's another. Here comes the B hit. Just he's got the frags. Cole are scary as hell. Truly, a force to be reckoned with. That's another round, a B take, and just picking apart a Fnatic. There's very few opportunities where we're sitting there in a Fnatic POV thinking, uh oh. Yeah, the multi kill potential isn't looking like it's there just yet. And as I mentioned, that was uh, the first. Real gun round because the first one had Flasher on the B site with an MP9. You had Crims on a scout and JW on the saved AK. But this round didn't work well for them either. And Blame is actually going to take away the final AK-47. Brolin will fall. And that's a clean round. Now, I do believe we've had a player drop or are they all back in? They're back in now. Look like we had a problem for a second there. But it will be a tactical timeout called for Fnatic. And they need to discuss their options because they've already found themselves with that uh, max loss bonuses. There's blame. There's Crim's head and hands. That's not a good sign after five rounds. Maybe he's just meditating. Maybe. That's interesting. Meditating. What what method would you call that? That's the... Is that the uh, Swedish meditation? It's Swedish. It's more Viking. Okay, kind of yeah. Origins. It's kind of... Uh, ...change up, considering his... <laughs> no uh, opening deaths his yet. Inferno. No, z zero. I can say that with conviction. I don't even need SEO for that one. But here we go. Another round of Counter-Strike I'm ready for. Let's see if Fnatic are, because we've not seen them convert. It is only Deagles. Their best buy was squandered by some multi-killing from Config. A B hit. Despite all of that B action, despite all of that B success, they do lean once again, and they have this tendency to put four towards the A mid area. And look at this. Look how ready the Con So quiet. So oh, quiet. There's the frag. That's the go sign. Flushes oh. Deagle says otherwise. That's an AK. Surely Blaine wants to contest that. Why isn't he? That's not great for the boys of Cole. Great for Flusher. He's taken not only the entire B hit and sent them, channeled them into his teammate today. 
But are they even at A? They've completely swarmed to pick up the weapons. That's two AKs now falling into Fnatic hands, and it's certainly not out of the realms of possibility that they, they completely think it's B. convert this. Rush has heard a bit of this as well. He's definitely heard some AK spam, some footsteps, and he can control the rotation back through Connector. Poison and JKS still yet to die. They don't know that the avenue's open, and Rush might be caught between a rock and a hard place if he goes before the A-side hit comes he in. He hears both of the AKs, right? Or at least he heard one reload above him. So he knows that he can just stand his ground and stop their rotate away if his teammates do gather ground. Here we go. Oh, that's the AK. Rush. Rush has got so much to deal with. The multiple targets. He does handle the first. Buying the second. Problem solved. And Cole only have Golden to find. Oh, that almost got out of hand there. Still could. Oh, I was found the headshot, but at great cost. Now, if he was to find poison, the last player only has one HP. Oh, hasn't found the frag. He does connect the bullet. Chad's concerned, and so am I. Rush knows exactly where Golden is, but he's working with the same amount of information. Golden's Deagle. Not one to be written out of this. Rush isn't expecting it. Timing, timing's everything. Oh, and he hits the shot. One remains. It's poison. He doesn't have the kit, and that really does completely screw up Golden's chances here. If he can keep the AWP and maybe knock him out, that's something. There you go. Bit of damage. Keeps him on the site. Keeps him locked and loaded. Maybe even recover the AK. Does poison get away? He does. So... They cut their losses. Golden gets well out of dodge, as does Poison. But Complexity remain undefeated. JKS, however, is no longer the undefeated. He has conceded his first death. This was an important, important. double. Yeah. So important. One HP as well. You're going to be kicking yourself after that one if you are Fnatic. And Golden did a lot of work here as well. So this damage is to the economy. Now, sure, they are winning. Sure, the scoreline is 6-0. and But Fnatic need those type of rounds to start building a bit of confidence. Hey, we can do this with the pistols. Let's give it a crack with the rifles. We're about to go into their second gun round here. AWP back out and double. One for Flusher, one for JW. Org for Brolin again. And they've gone for a three-man B lean. A little bit unorthodox here as Golden and Crims both playing over towards the short position. And Poison is already searching towards Connected. This is very quick. A minute 35 on the clock. Hello, uh, my name is Conflict. Pleased to meet you. I'm going to be walking into your site now. Any, any objections? Yeah, Flusher has one. And he's sent him packing. So that pressure on B is going to be quammed. Quashed. That's the word I was looking for. Bit of a gap in that window smoke. Nobody's home, but Blame needs to be aware of the possibility. Brolin was close towards ramp, and now he's pivoted back towards the site. The smoke gimmick what? is down to the timing. He didn't, didn't catch him. him. And now Brolin's vulnerable. Blame F has ratted his way to an opening kill. And a man advantage now for Complexity. Still 60 seconds of play. The A hit's coming in, and the only man to stop them is JW's AWP. They don't have a smoke for this position, so he might get a kill or two. He's seen Rush in Palace. Oh, baited it nicely. And now Blame should go down. Nice shot from JW, but quickly traded Poison. Still yet to go down. He's not stopping. He wants another. Go on, tags up Flusher. He's nearly finished the round on his own. He wants to peek over his own smoke. That's why he's deployed it. It could favor him for at least one. Hard oh. shot, doesn't hit it, and JKS even jumping across at the same time. Trying to dunk on Flusher, he evades the nade. Does kind of confirm to Justin that he has still stuck around in top of middle. What is this from Cole? A mirage. Packs a punch down mid. You know how we talk about mid control being, God, four years ago when I was talking about TF, we said the same thing. But theirs has got a different flavor to it. It's not so in utility intensive. It's yeah. bodies, it's frags. They've got the individuals so comfortable and capable that they can take some rather... Uh... Look at this fight. Look at this. This is just config peaking. That's it. There is no strategy. That's him pre-aiming the boost. And blame ratting the smoke. That's a great set of frags. Poison made sure this round was over. Yeah, it's good that he still has confidence, right? It was really concerned. And I think that the fact that he did keep repicking is why he probably is going to yeah. continue to have good form because he, he didn't he didn't let that fluster him. Obviously, in the server and in his mind, he's probably very frustrated, but continue to do his job. He and that's really beans. important. Chill your beans, dudes. Seven rounds in, they've already written Fnatic out. It's not looking good. It's, not, it's looked more competitive on these Deagle rounds. Yeah, you're not wrong. Mirage clearly not the specialty. And I mean, the previous results you started listing out for Fnatic's Mirage were... Single digit losses, yeah. Single digit losses and multiple. There you go. That's the Deagle you want to see more of, but it's short-lived. Crims found Config adding more to the tally. Just Flusher throwing out the nade and doesn't even get to see the product of it. Great stuff from Cole. Maybe GG.bet isn't too far off the mark. These boys are looking vicious. It's my first glimpse at seeing a team. I mean, how long have they had just JKS? 
Uh, he has been a part of this team now for, I think, three and a half weeks. And he got to Europe probably about uh, two, two or so weeks ago. So he, I think they got there with a week before Blast just to prepare. Okay. Uh, maybe a little bit less And than Blast that. didn't go swimmingly. Like, there was, there was a group stage exit, a win against... It, it started Ace. well because they had a close game against Vitality, but they lost. And that was where we had those JKS clutches. Yeah. But then they did only win against FaZe. They lost to Big. And they so, lost the opening. Yeah, 5v4. Cole have to overcome some deficits here. They're trying something different. It's an A-take. But an early frag from Golden has given him a disadvantage. But for how long? Look at Config always finding a gap. He wants to push CT now. And now he has a huge gap there. Look at the problem solving. There you go. Okay, jungle's scary. Let me give you CT. Are they saving? I'll let you make that decision. I have to go for this. I think they're just waiting for the smoke to clear. Fnatic need to start fighting for some rounds with no utility on the complexity. Defense or the retake. This should be a sit-up. It's just in kitchen. I think they're waiting for any oversteps here from complexity, but nobody's moving. Nobody's pressuring the oh. line. And when they do, Poison hits a banger of a shot. Yeah, this is really impressive. Okay, here they come. Very late arrival. Very little time for any oh. sort of maneuvers. They have to get on the bomb now. And JW's the last man to try it. He's gone. He's been knocked off by a blame F and the cross to the bomb. And so this is all over. It's just Flusher maintaining the orb. It's nine and zero, folks. Complexity on their map pick, looking for the 15-0. Now, I would mention max loss bonus, but I don't think you guys need to hear that. Fnatic are yet to post a round, so of course that's what they're operating with. And at this point of the game, when you're 9-0 down and a lot of the rounds haven't felt overly close or competitive, you might want to start force buying in. Now, they're going to go one more round here with a partial investment. Deagles, again, light utility flusher with that AWP. But from this point onwards, they will have to start continuing to buy. Flusher, no luck this time round. That's the AWP completely in T-side control. And Poison making this look like he's just playing against some pod bots here. <sighs> Running around frag after frag, finds a third, maybe the fourth. Look at this. This is just pure destruction. Absolutely. He's just taken this round and decided it's his. JW was there. Short, lit, short temporary glance from Poison, but... Oh, good Deagle work on the move. Two bullets connecting, softening up Blame F, but this round's over, and I think Fnatic's mental state is going to get really shaken. When you've just come into a second map after very narrowly losing your map pick after a veto you weren't expecting. Yeah, who knows what they had prepped for is their right. choice, right? So right. the thing is, all the work that they had done in the lead-up to this match of, yeah, we're going into this one, you get greeted with Imagine the opportunity if it was Virgo. Of, hold up, they left Inferno? Imagine one? if it was Fnatic preparing for Vertigo. You've put, you've put four hours into, all right, boys, we've, we're really ready for this one. You just see your opponents ban it. That's going to be frustrating off the get-go. And the fact that they were so close as well, and Crims put in such a massive performance, and they weren't able to get across the line. Deflating, that's one way to look at it. You can see Brolin, we don't often see him getting that agitated. That's true. So second timeout now called for Fnatic. They will be purchasing on here, and this tells the story. 12 for Poison, 11 for JKS, 9 apiece for Config and Blame and Rush. He doesn't even have to do anything. Four kills for him. On the other side, it will be Fnatic. 7 for JW leading the charge. 4 for Flusher and Golden. Three for Crimson, Brolin quiet on two. Not even getting an opportunity right now to find impact are the stars of Crimson Brolin. And look at this slew of rounds. Elimination, bomb plant, however you want it. Complexity will give it to you, and they're even rocking a double op setup, Alex. What the bloody hell is going on here? Mm -hmm. This might show the presence if... There we go. So the fact it was Config dying, not just the orb shot made, it meant they might have been able to bait them into something, so potentially getting ahead of themselves here with that double orb. See if they can course correct. Rush falls and great start from JW, even a leg shot. Oh, he could have very well made that the double he needed, or rather the triple, I should say. One middle, one palace, both found. And oh yeah, I'd get the hell out of dodge there if I was poisoned as well. He's actually lining up a smoke grenade. That's better of it. Okay, so Blame's making, yeah, Blame's making a mid-round call here. So you can see that this has all happened very quickly. We still have a minute 10 left on the clock, but you can see what territory they're working with. Palace, that was it, and Blame in T-spawn. So as far as complexity are concerned, Fnatic can have full information over towards B. They can have full information over towards middle. Their option is to go for what looks like a set piece on towards A. Now, if they all come up through the ramp here, they're able to use some good smokes to isolate Brolin. Brolin's got him. a scoped weapon, brother. Not the no. worst weapon for the job. Couldn't be a better weapon for the job. Admittedly, it might require an out-orping poison. 
But Brolin is jumping, so he could be vulnerable to an orc peak. Ah, uh, the flash came first. Is he in a jump? <gasps> oh! He does take a bit of a chunk out of his teammate, JKS, a bullet to the backside. Molly does force him out, and that gives him perhaps enough space to get across. Let's see, they've smoked Con, they flash it. Yes, but planting's gonna be difficult. Crims has rotated into CT. Flash's jungle, they've worked it out. They've got 19 seconds here, and a nade's not gonna do enough. Maybe it deters him from peeking. It covers the bomb sound. It does get it down. Okay, maybe they can make this work. 2v4, 1v4. It's all onto flame and he's gone. That's Fnatic breaking the seal, breaking the 10 round slew from complexity. Now, I think that there was a plan to show AWP presence towards middle from config, because I was talking a lot about that double AWP setup within the early stages. And then from there, knowing that the AWP was middle, they might rotate a little bit more lackadaisically between jungle and connector. And what that would have set Poison up was with, this is a classic, I'm sure you guys have run this in matchmaking at home. You know, you have an AWP or a smoke dropped over towards that mid window, and then your AWP posts up, gets the guy rotating out of jungle, you get a free kill and you take the site. Maybe Complexity were hoping to get away with that. But the fact that config gets taken out of the equation immediately by JW's AWP, and they even find that follow-up onto Rush. Well, all the steam was taken out, out of that round very, very quickly, and good stuff here from Fnatic. So if they bounce back and they're able to close out the half with five, we still have a game on our hands here, but it's going to be a hard task to get four on the trot. Rocking the double AWP setup again. Flusher and JW, how much more can you give us? Speculative shot through the smoke from Flusher. JW this time over towards B with the AWP. So chopping and changing their setup. And this is just a classic default spread from complexity. Couple over towards B apartments, one towards top mid. You got JKS in that palace position. A little slither of rush crosses his screen. I wonder if the nade landing at the end of tunnels is enough of an indicator that rush has been rumbled on the cross. Oh, he's very brave, Rush. This is knife out behavior. Oh, what the hell? He doesn't get away completely scar free. Tagged up, but he's trying to make it look good. And it does certainly get the boys from the CT sign a little on edge. Golden rotated in. It forces out Util to jump and maintain info. Flash for Crims on that connector fight. 45 seconds now. No real indication of where complexity want to end. It might be a B split or a connector pop. B splits on the cards, I think. Crazy cat, he's gonna no-scope him. Stopping Rush from maneuvering. Dropping the weapon out the door in case he needs it for later. He switches to the rifle. Config, however, has found gold and JW needs to be the hero. And he's missed his shot. Poison makes a very different decision. Need Hitting the, the shot, they do need to recover the bomb. They've actually invested a smoke into it. And the shot's from the site. Oh, Crims has found the crucial one. That could be round winning. I think it is. Poison left alone. Molotov's Crims out of position. Does catch a glimpse of Flusher. Tucked in on that corner. And no time for any of this maneuvers here. Crims will likely find him as he rounds the corner, but nope. Preserves and saves. They've got so much cash, it doesn't really matter. Oh! <laughs> Wouldn't have had so much cash if he went down there. No loss bonus would have been served up for dinner for poison here this evening. Fortunately, JW being audacious and being JW, able to stifle one of the prongs of that split. And by doing so, sets his team up with their second round. So clear impact from JW in two rounds here for Fnatic. And that's the only two rounds that they can boast about. A deep smoke towards B apartments from Flusher and a bit of a gamble call. They're only doing one man on the B site. And lots of presence towards middle. JW in connector this time, keeping fluid, keeping active and finding another frag. So JW, phenomenal stuff in these last three. They didn't even really need to, to put too many eyes on the B bomb site because of that deep smoke thrown out from Flusher. So a well-calculated gamble there from Fnatic, and they're finally starting to wrestle back some control of this game. They have lost the half and handedly. The double digits for complexity is a fantastic T side. Anything more that they can mount will be the cherry on top. It looks like they'll be setting up for an A set piece, but JW active again, searching with the orb towards A ramp. If they pull the pins, he's going to hear this. He's got another here. Another tag. Rushes manages to get away with murder a couple of times from the JW Orb. But that's the bomb delivered as well. This looks like chaos. There's only one chance for JKS, and he's missed his shot. Brolin finds poison elsewhere, and a big oh push from Brolin. He's just taking no prisoners. Three frags from the young Swede. It's a quick lockdown. 
you're right, Terry on top situation. JKS is going to get pushed on, drops the nade to try and soften him up, but pushed down it all the same. So that's a spotless round. And the first we've seen from Fnatic as they'll take their upgrades. In fact, bringing four AKs and two orbs into this next round of play. Complexity do take the time out. First of the half, or first of the map, I should say. It's double orb setup. So if I'm complexity right now, I'm doing a set piece straight away or something much quicker. Something that swarms them with smokes and molotovs in the early stages so they can't set up and find individual kills because that has been the key. If you think about the first round Fnatic guy, it was a kill towards middle, then a kill towards Palace. JW, a kill towards B apps, and then able to reposition and delay for his teammates to rotate in and stifle them over towards Cat. And here again, a kill in the early stages and then moving over again towards that A ramp to find even more impact. So JW won 12 kills and all of which have been felt by complexity. Poison's definitely died now. 14 frags for him. It's gonna be 11 for JKS, 10 for config. Flame F about to crack the double digits. As round 14 gets underway and this will be the last full buy for complexity here is the loss bonus. Not gonna be if built up too fast, but it is quicker. Look at him go. Straight through the smoke. Crims wants to contest this blame nose. <gasps> but Poison's head was exposed and he uses the smoke to escape. What a play. The wild spray catches another. It was JW completely unawares, completely uninvolved. He was just an innocent bystander in all of that. And he gets caught by the wild spray. That's one way to trade. Not the typical way, but it works. 4v4. Bomb is way back. JKS likely responsible for it eventually. And the round stalled out again. So this is... Well, not JW, who's going to poke and prod, but Crims, who's scavenged the AWP. Can he find the same level of impact? Oh, good shooting, Brolin. Very nice. Takes the peak, throws the nade at the toes of Rush, and he wants to throw even more. Oh, Molly's good. Forces Rush forward. He's using that smoke. It's just faded, though. Brolin's tucked into dark. Oh, he's playing a dangerous game, is Brolin, but he's in such a prime position now, and Crims is in there. Flashes him in. A double. Give it to him. JKS manages to hold his nerve despite the flash. That's the bomb on ramp. Rush is managing to work his way behind enemy lines. If he finds that, now things get interesting because with 38 seconds... They can get B and it looks like they are. He can. Big decision to make here. He's made a lot of sound. Flush is going to have heard that. Or not, actually. I'm not under... I don't think he did. I think he's operating under the assumption that Rush is anywhere. They've got an open B site here. Flush has not worked it out in time. He's ah, maybe, maybe he can stop the plant. A wild spray. JKS is punching in the digits. Rush has to contest this, but Flush gets the frag. Oh no, JKS. He did not have the health for this kind of duel. He's got a 1v2, 20 HP. Margin for error is null. He cannot afford to take a point of damage. And he's already getting wall banged. Stands his nerve, holds his nerve rather, and stands his ground. They are coming in through the window. One's flanking. Timer on this. Peeks out, but they were wrapped around. And that's Fnatic finding their fourth. They have stabilized at the tail end of this half. That's what, four in a row? Yeah, and uh, looking good for the fifth here as well. The bomb plat's going to be fantastic for Complexity to get a buy for the last round of the first half. You can see that Poison without that would have been operating with very little, but they can drop him in AWP. And Rollins did good to grab this one. I'm not sure how JKS was able to recover. They made a round out of a round that uh, definitely didn't look like they had too much say. Complexity. But all the confidence now is starting to shift. A 10-round spree, great for the Colga boys. They're very happy about that. But the fact that you're going to go into the second half, losing potentially the last five on the trot, it's been sucked out of the room. The Fnatic are going to be the ones who are happy with how they've been able to close things out, considering the woeful start. Now, I kind of fancy Blame's chances here. Look at the fact he's just pre-aiming that. But the flash in the steps, he knows one pushed up for info, and on the retreat, he punishes him. Damn, just patience prevails in that one. Brolin trying to contest. He's always good for one. Nade's good. Crims is there with a double of his own. And this half is going to be five consecutive to finish. Fnatic finding mojo, finding momentum. Just poison, 2 HP. He likely will meet his Brolin demise. Constantly a threat on ramp, at least in these last few rounds. Certainly wasn't the case. Don't forget those, those 10 consecutive to start. They will not be swept under the rug from this uh, resurgence. And it's left eye. It favors JW. Certainly even more so because Crims arrives. And the 2 HP Orpa, a 1v4. And 
unlikely to see anything. There it is. 10 to 5. We have our half. Complexity putting Fnatic on notice. And the only thing we can do is take a break and see exactly what the second half, ha second half has in store. Fifteen rounds of play in our second map, Mirage, and it's ten to complexity. In fact, all ten were in consecutive fashion. Blames talking them through it, maybe recapping the half as well as preparing them for what could be the final half of our second series here. IEM Beijing, second day in Inferno, despite some incredible attempts from JW and Crimson we've just cycled through on the cams. It's not worked out well for Fnatic. They did lose out in overtime, and here in Mirage, it's been a five-round comeback to put them in some degree of confidence heading into the pistol round. If they grab this and convert against the Force, we might see them go on a 10-round spree of their own. So let's see what JKS has to say from Ticket. USP in hand, Flash has come over, dodged them. 3-4-4 four, four across, there's another palace. It's a full A commitment, and Poison can't find anything. They actually get some pressure to lock down jungle. They've denied all of this. Will they expect Config holding it from here, though? I highly doubt it. Or will he ever go for the strafe? Have a smoke and They've a kit for so the much diffuse. Control. Look at the after plan positions. Blame's going palace during all of this. JW does find him on his perch. 
This is a weird one. The bomb's already ticked down. The kit's on JKS with a smoke. If they can just escort the president into the bomb, they might get the defusal. That's the shot. Blaine gets the first. Now config. Pepper's another. He's on, He's on it. And knocked off immediately. The kit's on the bomb, though. That's half the heavy lifting done. Poison gets across. Doesn't have the kit. That's a 10-second defuse. He needs to pick up the kit. Oh, he no. gets knocked off again. Flush has found the necessary frag. He doesn't have the kit. Doesn't have the time. Nope. Chuck Tester. That's six. Fnatic, take it. And Flusher gets all the credit. 100% of the credit is Flusher's. He got all the kills, but also knocked him off the bomb twice. Twice. Everything Complexity did on that retake was to get that defusal. And just look at the shots consistently hit. Config a second too late on his defense. Those pistol rounds from both teams on their T sides looked eidetic. We had a P250 in the hall's position. We had jungle control taken. We had the standard utility to use to get them across towards that jungle position. Just different endings. T sides winning in both. And the force fight from Complexity this time. They've gone relatively all in. Config holding onto a bit extra. Same with Blame. Rush and JKS are fully invested though. If Config finds a timing here, Flush is now isolated. He's on his own with this AK-47. Feet might be spotted underneath the card if Config turns his gaze to the right, but it looks like Flush has seen the barrel and Flush has got the headshot. So Danger Man for Complexity KO'd in the early stages of round number 17. Don't fancy Rash's chances here. A Deagle defending the B apps. He's been spotted. There will be a Molotov from Crims. Ops with a nade instead. And here comes the BX sec, or at least enough to look like one. There's three flashes and some Molotovs, but nobody fully committing. And it seems like the CTs aren't moving a muscle. They're switched on. Nothing behind that util. It's a very long round the world play. Check out still has a smoke here. Yeah, at 45. I mean, if he drops it at 30, we're talking. He could drop it palace. He could drop it ramp. Now would be the now. time. I don't think he wants to move, though. Yeah, he knows the jewel can come any moment. Here they come. Flash, he has to turn from it. Golden playing this one well. That's the frag he needed. Instead, Golden has relieved a lot of pressure now. Poison, how does he hit that? Close quarters scouting. Doesn't necessarily stop the bomb plan, though, because Brolin is punching in the digits and he can't wallbang it. But that's oh. a huge deagle frag. Blame F. Cuts Crims out of the round. Brolin's low as well. Could be vulnerable to a scout or a deagle, both of which are equipped by complexity. Golden. Golden missing his first. They are grouped up and a great first shot on the repeak. Rush loses his head and looks like Collar losing the round. They don't have a kit. The smoke's there. They're going to have to back away. Crims dropped a weapon. I don't know what it was, but Blaine blew at the Deagle perfectly to enable that frag to happen. I think it's a Mac 10, yeah. Oh, so. wow. That's a depressing result. I think at least they'll carry across three upgraded weapons into the next round, but all in all. We spoke about the fact Complexity went on a 10-round spree to kick off this map. Fnatic now have seven of their own on the trot, and they're the ones running with the momentum and the confidence. They picked up five of the final rounds of the first half, and now the pissed round with the conversion. They're back in the game, and look at that Mo being rocked there by Golden. I didn't even mention that so far. It's Movember. If you want to grow a mustache or donate money, it's a pretty good charity. We've uh, been involved in that one before. We certainly have. I've got a very cool skateboard with a surf guy on it. Pretty gnarly. All right. Well, it's the Mac 10, it's the Deagle, and it's the Scout. USPs for Russia, JKS alike. Missed window, Molly. Maybe Poison will catch him off guard by peeking it, but ooh, there's a nade involved. And now a smoke. So that's pretty much as good as mid control. Now B's open, and that's where Fnatic want to be finishing this one. So they've read this one well, or. Maybe they've gambled and gotten quite lucky because it's just poison over towards the checkers position with the scout. And look, he can hit a couple of bangers, get a couple of tags, but the fact that his teammates are all on the wrong bomb site. Yeah, that does tend to bode poorly. He won't even get a chance to make a shot here, so may as well do whatever damage they can. Complexity, they will be buying in the next round. You can see poison with 4K residual cash. He can afford an AWP going into round number 19, but this one's not over yet. It definitely felt like it was. If you're getting 10 rounds straight on the T side of Mirage and you're making the other team look silly, then sure, we're definitely going to be backing you in for the victory. But at this point, at this juncture of the game, we may as well be even pegging. We may as well just be starting at null null. Hmm. Lovely shooting. Nearly gets another. He's being hunted down and the free fire does confirm an AK-47. Did I just do null in German? 
think I did. did. Oh, damn it. No. At this point, I think we're probably indoctrinated into... Uh, we're becoming hybrids. Yeah. All right, well, it will just be rushed with the scout. Can he do a bit of damage? Roland survives, keeps the AK. Once the Galil, he dies. All right, well, everyone's buying. So all the guns are going to come out, all the goodies for complexity. And they need a round on the board because eight on the trot. It doesn't feel very nice to be on the receiving end of that. Poison with the AWP config opting into the secondary. Okay, so this is pretty, pretty much pushing all their chips to the center of the table. Double AWP, trying something new. Complexity have really not had an answer to the opening three. Admittedly, that's three plants, that's three rounds, but it makes a 10-5 half, which was a 10-0 half. All of a sudden, feel pretty damn competitive. Oh, Flusher, he actually has defensively escaped the duel and hunt from Rush. That's nice, because otherwise it would have been uh, right eye peak to deal with from Rush, and that way you forced him into only taking the duel on one angle. Gap. Oh, and Config exploits it, gets away with a very important frag. A first frag from the secondary AWP as well. Golden little worse for wear. He's returning to the A side of things. And Rush, who previously did push up into Palace, is all too aware of the potential for a flush up walk up. Here it comes. Oh, Rush takes the fight and wins it. Now Complexity fills the feed. It's been a while. First of the CTs, start posting some rounds, and it is going to just be golden, 18 HP and an AWP. It's that first round in the last nine, so finally, complexity, feeling the taste of victory once more. As golden will just opt to do a little bit of financial damage here. Won't find a frag, won't find the round, and well, if we look at Fnatic's financials, they haven't been keeping the books. Not very straight, at least. JW has 5.2, Flusher on 3.7, 3.9 for Golden. They're all in the realms of a buy. And the other two members, Crimson Brolin, will be operating with very little. Some great orping from Poison. As he finds the final frag onto Golden, 18 for him now. And I'm great. I'm grateful that uh, he's turned up here to put on a bit of show with the AWP. Was worried after his first map performance. And I'm glad that Fnatic are continuing to fight as well. It's going to be an A pounce, so all the pressure here on JKS, stuck in towards the firebox, just limped out of smoke towards the A ramp. Will they still go through this flash over? Yes, they will. He's getting swarmed right now. Needs some help and needs it now because he's getting peppered from all angles. They've taken side control. JKS is going to. And the cavalry has arrived. <laughs> Bosh. But where were you when Krems 1v5 with a Glock? Probably in a different year. Probably in a different game, but 8 to 12. <laughs> a different reality. <laughs> okay, so the double O's looks like it's a key part of the game plan for complexity out of the starting gates here. Once the rifles came out, we've seen Confing rub with it round after round, and this will be the second chance for him to wield it against JW. Oh, I picked up an off on the other side. Love to see some of that early AWP action again from Config. He was using that slight gap in the smoke to find the opening frag that did put Fnatic on the back foot. He's actually taking it up. Oh, nice moves. Straight to hold the cross if there is one, and bang. First blood drawn, and there's a second AWP posted up. <gasps> Hunting, JW could get caught here. He is completely unawares. This is great. This is a complete change up. Complexity bring in the fight, and another poison follows up, sticks around, and slaps Fnatic around. Completely unaware. You could see that just sudden decision making. He knew, well, if, if that's just happened, if Window has just found a frag in middle, JW is going to be posted up at con. And they aren't done. What? Over the shoulder, yeah, yeah. Completely. And Crims actually fully profits from that. Oh, the damage now through the smoke. Got chipped down to two. That nade could have done so much work. It's a little short of the mark, though. And Rush is denying any info they can get on B there. This is a really nice setup. So Flusher and Crims basically just have to stay where they are. They know the CTs have had so many liberties because of how much time has passed that they basically just have to hold W. They can't really go anywhere. The extremities are off limits. Uh, if Crims somehow makes it through underpass and flanks Rush, that's probably the only way that they can find a frag here. 
Config, those shots are making me nervous, bro. Crimson's actually got a great idea as to where Config has gone. Flash is selling a fake completely, and JKS is bitten on it. They've all bitten on it. There's a gap. Oh my god, and Crimson has got the bomb. Flush has sold this. Crimson has snuck straight through enemy lines, and he will at least get a plant. Now he's got two HP. So that two HP clutch is on the cards. All four members of Complexity have got a lot of leg work. And with his two HP, he stands on the totem If he wins ball. this, I'm done. I'm yeah. not casting the rest of the game. That's fine. We'll just do silence from then on. I was a little bit worried there. I was expecting a couple of one taps. Crims is going absolutely ham, but it's going to be mopped up. Now, if we want to talk about the importance of that plant. Can I look at Crims' gloves real quick? Just a little look to the left. Oh, yeah, got you. 13 to 8. Good shots all the same. This was a really nice turn of a pace. Just bringing the fight up mid. It would be a little bit salty that uh, they fooled that were fooled by that one and the plant Absolutely. went down because the money situation for Fnatic will be helped out a lot by that plant. You can see they were able to go for a half buy because of it. Otherwise, they might have been having to go for, for more of a fuller economical or maybe just some deagles without that utility, but they've even been able to get Kevlar on four of them. Poison Smith is mid nade twice now. Look, not as long that. as he hits the orb Look, shots, I'm not, I'm not, just I'm, miss the nades, mate. Yeah, he's allowed to do that <laughs> if he's hitting these shots he's in, been hitting. Clearly a little flustered, though. There is a lot of... Uh... I'm not riding on this. Don't forget, direct invite, global challenge. Cole, looking to start and stay in the upper bracket. Navi, if they win this one. Oh, Navi, Cole, what a game. That's one I was most excited for in the prospects of our second round upper bracket. Well then, that's the end of that. Rush's pistol is better than Crimson's, at least in round 22. So timeout called, and it is going to be just one remaining for after this. For Fnatic to piece together the recovery after that 10-5 half. Ooh, I was just taking a look at tomorrow's matches, Alex. And uh, it looks like the game that we'll be covering when we come on in will be Vitality Phase. And then following that will be this one right here. It'll be the winner, Na'Vi, taking on whoever walks out triumphant. Fnatic or Complexity looking very much like Complexity right now. So that's a banger to be tuning in for tomorrow at 6.30. Vitality phase first, though, you said. Yeah, cool. That should be explosive. Let's see if oh, I mean, the fact that FaZe are making it work with Olaf and Kyrvi is, is something I'd be intri intrigued to see if they can continue to replicate. Because it could be one of those cool things where, you know, when the pressure's off, They're suddenly everything clicks. Yeah. You know, these individuals have been putting under so much, like, your future depends on your performance. That kind of pressure is, is going to affect everyone and differently. Well, two more rounds now for Complexity to uh, pick up a very, very big victory here at IEM Beijing. JKS even made the grand final of IEM Beijing last year just to get hammered by Astralis in a best of five, but at least he's got a uh, grand final to get back to. Slower approach here from Fnatic. No RG Bargy towards middle. No double orps finding multiple entries. Four-man lean over towards A from Complexity. JKS close ramp. Blame F being able to help connect a window and Palace. This is a slow, a, a much slower pace. And I can't help but feel that if Flusher goes down, that bomb is just lost. You'd have to, what, see JW pick it up? Right, Ned. Bonk. Really softens up the attack. No bomb on any of this. I continue to remind you. Looks like he's thinking about going back for it. He is, okay. So now this is when things get interesting. 48 seconds as they prepare for the hit. Molly's a bit too deep. Well, they're Kong's trapped, like, though. Wants to peek him so badly. Wants to challenge over from this CT side, and it would be a perfect peek. Vulnerable to Flusher, admittedly, and JKS no longer <gasps> responsible. Okay, this gets awkward now. They're flooding into the site. JKS needs one, and he's got it very cleanly. He doesn't get cleaner than that. He won't find a second. Grims makes short work of him but it's all onto one man and Flush has hit a spectacular headshot. 20 seconds, a one versus three, and already cuts it down to a 1v2. And he's not rushing this plant, evades the flash and finds it. Oh, and Rush is there. He gets the trade. It's 15 for Complexity, but a very valiant attempt from Flusher. 15 to Complexity now, and they have completely returned to that form they had in that first half. Great shooting from JKS. Losing out on the second duel, but quickly seeing that problem solved. Weird game of Counter-Strike. We had 10 in a row, and then we had 8 in a row, and now we're about to have 6 in a row. So it might be over very, very quickly. How peculiar.
Now, there are limited nades for this T side. They are going to try and win this round with about two flashes. Oh, that was the chance. That was a very big chance of sitting duck, but now the orbs are connecting. It's blue on brown. It's all complexity. And they want to finish this one. I can see they're incited all even over. further, just pushing up. Config double orping aggressively. And all on to one man, complexity. With a couple of weeks integrating the new player and they're taking big scalps already. That's Fnatic added to the list. Tags him, finishing things off with style. Give it to Config, he deserves it after the show he's had. Big gaming, big result, complexity. Sticking in the upper bracket and we'll be facing Na'Vi tomorrow, 6 p.m. Set the calendar reminder, that's gonna be a big game. Phase Vitality as well, my goodness. We'll be breaking all of that down though after the break.